everyone, I'm Bonnie Cha, Senior Editor at CNET.com, and I'm here to bring you another look at the LG Thrill 4G for AT&T. We first saw this device at CTIA 2011, and it's very similar to the LG Optimus 3D, which is available in Europe, with the big feature being the 3D capabilities. Like the HTC Evo 3D, the Thrill offers a 4.3-inch glasses-free 3D display and two 5-megapixel cameras on back that allow you to take 3D photos and videos. What I like about the Thrill over the Evo 3D is that it comes preloaded with more 3D content, so you can really test and explore the feature. By tapping on the 3D Space app, you're taken to a hub where you can check out 3D games, photos and videos, as well as access a 3D user guide and camera. Some of the preloaded games include Let's Golf and Asphalt 6, and I also thought the 3D effect was a little better on the Thrill than the Evo 3D because you get more depth of field and not just things popping off the screen. However, the phone has the same problem where it has limited viewing angles, so when I was playing Asphalt 6 and turning the phone to navigate the car, I lost the 3D effect. Also, after a while, it was a strain on my eyes and gave me a bit of a headache to keep looking at the 3D stuff, so I had to stop. Even though the Thrill has more content and better effects, I still feel the same way about 3D as I did with the Evo. It's a cool feature that's fun to show off every once in a while, but it's not going to be the main reason why I buy a phone. So the question is, does the LG Thrill 4G have more to offer than 3D? Uh, the answer is yes and no. It's a very solidly built phone, if not a bit bulky. It's got a dual core processor and 8 gigabytes of onboard memory and a pre-installed 8 gigabyte micro SD card, so that's great. But I felt that it could be sluggish at times when opening certain apps like the camera or some games. Also sluggish is AT&T's HSPA Plus speeds. Uh, it's running Android 2.2.2, so that's disappointing. But we've been told that it will be upgraded to Android 2.3 Gingerbread in the future. So compared to other devices out there, the Thrill isn't particularly a standout. But it does come with a very attractive price tag of just $99.99 with a two-year contract. I think for the media aspect of it, it's not a bad buy, but if you're looking for a better all-around Android device, the Samsung Infuse 4G or Motorola Atrix 4G would be the better option. I'm Bonnie Chan. This has been your first look at the LG Thrill 4G.